Hey guys, it's Dice Get Back with more Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Uh, today we will be going through chapter 8. So, chapter 8 Cold Reception. <clears throat> Burr, it's much colder here than in the forest. The ice tribe lives up to its name. Yes! Too true, the colder it gets, the colder we are. It won't be long now. My word, isn't this cold air marvelous? It really puts a spring in your step. Well, marvelous is not exactly the word I had in mind. I can hardly feel my fingers anymore. They'll be frozen before long. Uh, whoa! Oh, really? I'm sorry, my liege. I had no idea you were suffering. Um, how about we try running? Maybe that will warm you up. Come on, everyone, let's run. What? She's so fast. Felicia, wait for me. <laughs> Lady Lee, slow down. You mustn't get ahead of the group. <clears throat> They're gone. This won't end well. Whoa. <sighs> the snow is really coming down all of a sudden. Is everyone okay? Yes. I believe so, but it looks like we've been separated from the others. Huh? Damn, you're right. We have to find them in quickly. Everything will be Don't fine. Don't worry, Daisuke. Felicia knows this area well, so they should be fine. Honestly, I'm more concerned about the two of us. We must keep pushing forward before we freeze to death. Yes. Very true. We'd better hurry before the path Felicia showed us is covered in snow. It's freezing, and now the snow is so thick I can hardly see anything. Felicia said it gets colder the closer you get to the Ice Tribe Village. You must be on the right track, right, Silas? Uh, so it would seem. Yeah. I must carry on, but my mind is suddenly hazy, and I can't feel my legs. Uh, Daisuke. I'm so sorry. Sorry, Silas. I'm fine, really. I just fell a little. No big deal. Are you sleepy? I'm suddenly so very, so very sleepy. No way! Daisuke, no, please, stay with me. You must not fall asleep. I'll get up soon, at least five more minutes. Xander can wait. Uh. Daisuke? Daisuke! You! Halt, who goes there? Uh. What the? It's over. Daisuke, thank goodness. For a while there, I thought you, I'd lost you. <gasps> Silas, what happened? I remember the following, and then everything went black. More importantly, where are we? Welcome. You're safe now, young traveler. Welcome to my village. <clears throat> I'm Kilma, leader of the Ice Tribe. Thank you. Kilma, thank you for your kindness. <clears throat> it would seem you saved my life. My name is Daisuke. I'm the second prince of, King, of the Kingdom of North. Daisuke, you should rest now. We've had a long, huh? we've had a long day. Silas, <gasps> something the matter? Um, My apologies, Kilma. Daisuke just woke up. His mind is still foggy. Perhaps you would allow him to rest a bit more before we resume the introductions. I see. Yes, of course. I'll go prepare something warm to drink. Please excuse me. Well. Silas, what was that all about? I feel fine. <sighs> Don't forget yourself, my lord. You could prove deadly. <gasps> Listen. I know all of this is new to you, but don't forget we came to suppress a rebellion. That means the Ice Tribe is disgruntled with the actions of the Kingdom of Noor. In other words, we are their enemy. To identify yourself as a Norian prince, especially while in a weakened state. It's simply a bad idea, old friend. Oh! Sound advice, Silas. You're right. I forgot myself for a moment. Careful out there! <clears throat> Understandable for one who barely made it back to the land of the living. But we must exercise caution, or neither of us will ever see home again. Yeah! There's such a fine line between friend and foe, war and peace. It's also gray. <sighs> such is the world we live in, I'm afraid. I must say, you truly have a remarkable knack for getting into trouble. I never thought this is how we'd breach the village. What should we do now? <laughs> Fresh pot of hot tea is promised. This should help clear your head. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I would usually I usually would not allow strangers in the village like this. However, I made an exception for you two. That sword you carry, Daisuke. That golden blade looks just like that of the hero of legend. 
It is said the one who wields that blade is destined to save the world. Huh? Mayato, legendary sword? Well, it's a nice thought. Yes. As you can imagine, I simply couldn't abandon you after I saw that blade. Who knows, maybe you are the hero our world has been waiting for. If so, then there's a chance we will one day break free from those cruel Norians. If you'll excuse me. If you'll excuse me, I believe I've babbled on about the old Ice Tribe legends long enough. Uh, looks like my daughter has finally arrived. Allow me to introduce you. <gasps> Daisuke, is that you? It can't be. What the Flora, what are you doing here? I... I could ask you the same thing. And I shall. What are you doing here, my liege? Huh? My liege? Huh? This isn't good. Oh, wow! Brother, yay, I knew you'd make it. Elise. Elise. Thank goodness! What a relief. I was so worried once I realized we had gotten separated. Uh, what? Flora, what are you doing here? You told me you were going to hold down the fort while I was gone. Felicia. I changed my mind. Why did you and the others follow me here? No. Follow you? No way. I had no idea you were even here. You know it. Yeah, that's right. We got here all by ourselves. We can't go back until we suppress the Ice Tribe Rebellion like Father ordered. <gasps> what? <gasps> Elise, why would you say that? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? It's not a secret. Wait, doesn't suppress mean, you know, that we asked them to please stop rebelling? Maybe eat dinner together? <sighs> At least you don't understand. It's not that easy. I see. All has become clear as ice. You monsters tricked me into helping you so you could infiltrate my village. No! I promise you that was not our intention. <clears throat> don't play dumb such child's games. Do not befit a prince, even one of Nor. I know how you Norians operate. Well, so be it. Flora, you know what must be done. <sighs> yes, Father, I will sound the alarm right away. The Norians have infiltrated our village, and they must be expelled immediately. And permanently. Laura, how could you say such a dreadful thing? Fighting was supposed to be a last resort. Can't we talk this out? Or at least try to? Felicia! Felicia, dear sister, you've always been ignorant of the ways of the Norians. War is the only thing which they understand. Stand with them and you'll pay the price. <gasps> that could have gone better. Be on your guard, Daisuke. Welp. Time has come to defeat the Norian army. Inform the villagers. Careful out there! Sounds like Kilma is dead set on calling in reinforcements from the village. Maybe if we get to them first, we can dissuade them from fighting. Visit the villagers' houses to earn a reward. Once the battle is concluded, visit at least three out of the five homes to earn the best reward. Okay. Uh, Whoa, soldier, what's going on? Huh? Don't leave my house today. Well, if you say so, I'll tell my family. <clears throat> uh, 
The dark horse is calling, whispering, seething. It's saying, hmm. I understand the shadows within say our foes are unwitting yet dangerous. So it has been decided by the treacherous hand of fate. We have no choice. You must use the darkness swarming inside me to claim the golden glow of victory. <sighs> You're a damn weirdo, Odin. But you know that but you know that, don't you? In any case, I'm not going to let you take all the glory for yourself. <gasps> Uh, what's going on over there? Who are you? <laughs> Didn't you hear me about the darkness? Sheesh, some people are so rude. Well, it can't be helped. Who am I, you ask? I am Odin I'm none Dark. Other than Odin Dark. I am the keeper of the darkness, chosen protector of the youngest Morian prince. Huh? So, you're Leo's retainer, and he sent you here to help me? Yes. Yes, that would be the same version of what Odin just said. My name is Niles. By royal decree of Lord Leo, I'm here to serve you. Huh? Serve me? I'd rather you fight at my side as a friend and eat me. Whoa, whoa! Don't worry about Niles. He's always like this. I suspect he's bitter that the dark spirits chose to inhabit me, not him. Back to the matter at hand. Don't be afraid, Lord Daisuke. I'll now use my powers to expel those who wrought to you from this world. Ah, oh, the power. My fell hand awakens and it longs for the blood of our foes. I must annihilate them all, or the curse will surely. Um, Whoa there, take it easy. Let's all just calm down, okay? Hmm? What? Why? But my sword, the curse, what's the fuller? Uh -huh. Is there a problem? When can we start inflicting pain? Well, um, no offense. I'm happy you came to help and all, but you're creeping me out. Besides, I would like to settle this dispute with as little bloodshed as possible. Ooh. So we can inflict pain so long as it doesn't cause bloodshed? Interesting challenge. No, just... No. What? But I prepared at least a dozen torturous moves just for today. Name them all too. They might be my best names yet. I'm so sorry. Very sorry for the um, inconvenience. But I'm going to have to put my foot down. As you wish. Well, if it's an order from my liege's royal sibling, I'm obliged to obey. I may appear to be somewhat despicable, but I have the utmost loyalty for Lord Leo. Okay. I too am a bastion of loyalty, despite the dark forces that beckon me from beyond. It will be hard to hold back my true power, but for you, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Now let's finish this quickly. Okay, then. Let's... Raider's Knife. Raider Knife.
Odin don't die. Wow, he can't even die. So you come out last, time goes, well if you're going to kill me, get on with it. Huh? You're not going to kill me, I'm so confused. I'm locking up and I don't come knocking again, you hear? Nothing of value, I promise. I know I'll lock myself inside. Oh, this is just awful. I hate being cooked up. And that's all of them. So let's just start taking these guys out. Thank you. 
Tribes leader, it is my duty to protect our people. Okay. And Felicia, 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 my foolish, just foolish sister. Would you really think this rebellion could be solved by a few pretty words? Flora. No fool, Flora. You're the one who wants to fight without hearing us out. That in itself is a betrayal of the pride and morality of our tribe holds so dear. <sighs> You really don't understand, do you? This goes beyond words. Don't you realize all of our time in that castle was, I mean, it was just... Eh? What are you saying, sister? No. Forget, there's no point telling you now. After all that's happened, let's get on with it. You may be my sister, but I won't go easy on you. Fine. To just finish it, why don't you? No point showing mercy now. I was a fool to allow myself to be deceived by appearances. You are not the legendary hero after all, what a shame. Yes! I make no excuses for what my people have done to yours, Koma. No matter how this ends, all I ask is that you listen to what I have to say. You didn't take my life when you had the chance. Why? Tell me. The battle is over, at least for now. Thanks to your valiant efforts, we managed a victory without taking any lives. At least, will you please attend to the injured regardless of what side they fought on? You know it. Leave it to me. I'll have them all healed up before you can say at least the best. You. 
The Norian army fought a battle without murder and brutality? How is this possible? What are you playing at, Prince of Norway? Yes. This is no game, Kilma. I don't believe in killing for the sake of killing. Nor am I inclined to re repay kindness with violence. I still owe you my life, after all. <gasps> Even though we attacked you first while you were weak, you still showed mercy. Well... I would love nothing more than for today to mark a turning point for all of us. One field not by force nor control, but by mutual trust. I know that it, I know it will take time. It won't be easy, but in my heart I know it's the only way. My father ordered me to quell this rebellion. I knew I had to do it my way. Whatever the consequences, I want to build a world where we can all live in peace. <sighs> live in peacefully. Anyway. Whatever the consequences, I want to build a world where we can all live in peacefully. Okay. Could it be you really did intend to stop the rebellion with words, as Elise said? I would say it would be hereditary, but Elise isn't actually your blood relative. Uh? Wait, then you're not a prince of Nora after all? Huh? Lord Daske, is this true? I don't believe it. Yeah. It is true, Flora. I found out during my brief time in Hoshido. I'm not King Garen's true son, nor this kingdom's true prince. But I wish nothing more than to end this war for all of us and for all kingdoms. That is why I must do all I can to make Father recognize me as his son again. Is that so? I had no idea. I seemed to have missed a lot after leaving the Norian Fortress. Forgive me, Lord Kilma. I know what I am about to ask is somewhat is a somewhat selfish request, but I must ask all the same. Will you and your tribe agree to halt your rebellion? In return, I promise to do all I can to give your people back your autonomy. I will not rest until the Ice Tribe regains the freedom nor so cruelly stripped away. But for this to happen, I must first ask your, for your cooperation. <laughs> you are full of surprises, young prince. I never thought I would say this, but you may count on our full cooperation. <gasps> Kilma, I thank you. I swear to you, I won't regret this. Yes. But you won't regret this. Yeah. There's a few fierce kindness in your eyes, a mysterious calmness in your words. I'm afraid I can't help but take you at your word, Lord Daisuke. If King Garen had said those same words, it would have made no difference. But you, you are a true, uh, you are a different story. I can't help but believe in you. Perhaps, perhaps you are the hero who will save this world after all. Thank you. Uh, I'm not so sure about that last part, but I thank you for your trust. Um. Lord Daisuke, can you ever forgive me? I know I betrayed my oath to serve you and ran away from the castle, but no, no need to apologize for it. You did nothing wrong. It was wrong of the Norian Kingdom to corner you like that, especially as a child. I will as ever speak highly of you to father. Yes. Your kindness knows no bounds, Lord Daisuke. Thank you. Though I previously refused to do so, here and now I swear my fealty to you. <laughs> I had no need to go overboard, Flora. Without you and Felicia, I would have died of loneliness in the northern fortress. You have more than proven your fealty to me, as well as your friendship. No. But that was all just a big, I mean, that whole time... I guess it doesn't matter anymore. From now on, I promise to be truly loyal to you. I'm not sure I fully understand, but the sentiment is much appreciated. Big brother! We're done killing everyone, Daisuke. Easier done than said. Hehe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Elise, and you too, Felicia. You both did well today. Yes. Indeed, we all did. Now, all we need is for King Garen to recognize your victory. Mm. Oh, I forgot about that part. What are we going to do? You were supposed to stop the rebellion on your own, but we ruined everything. We've got to come up with some great excuse to tell Father or he'll be angry. <gasps> Ugh, I'd forgotten that part, too. Well, I, I'll consider my options on the way home. Huh? Are you leaving already? Can I not persuade you to stay and rest a while? I'm afraid time is, time is of the essence, Lord Kilma. Next time we meet, I dearly hope the world will be a better place. <laughs> I have every confidence it will be, Lord Daisuke. May the gods protect you on your perilous journey toward peace. Thank you very much. Lord Daisuke, much. wait. Us villagers wish to thank you. We went out of our way to prevent you went out of your way to prevent us from engaging in a feudal battle. Though our soldiers tried to defeat you, you still protected and even healed us. Take this as a token of our appreciation. Please, I insist. Wow. 10k. Nice. Well, that's gonna be the end of this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you would like to support the channel, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!